Yo, it's 92 Jelani. Last week, I did some recordings with the Field Kit and Field Kit Effects from Coma Electronics. I got a lot of cool sounds out of those, and towards the end, I got a loop that I really liked. So this week, I'm going to use sections from those recordings to kind of find an area that I want to use as a bed for a track. So I'm going to throw some samples that I got recorded on my uh, Zoom H6, put them into my computer, and uh, try to find an area that I think works really well. So now I'm just grabbing the sample, throwing it into Ableton, and just trying to find a part of the recording that I really like. There's a couple sections in here that sound pretty interesting, but towards the end, I got a, uh, a loop that I liked. This one right here. So now I'm just chopping it up and trying to make it a perfect loop so that I can have it continuously looping as loops do. And I use an EQ to take out all the low end, not all the low end, but some of the low end. Then I route it out of my interface and I take that into my tape deck. Power it on. And uh, this is the type of tape that I'm using. It's metal. It's like the high grade type, but you can use anything for this, honestly. And what's important though is that you have pitch control. So I pitch it up during the recording. And now I'm recording onto the tape. Uh, I pitch it up though so that I can pitch it down with more range of control. So now we're recording onto the tape. Just reverse it all, start from the beginning, and now I'm going to play it back from the tape back to my computer. And of course, now I can pitch it down, which gives me double the uh, range for pitch control. So now I'm printing that back to Ableton. It's good, but I still kind of want it to get more more lo-fi. So I'm going to do another round of it. So now I'm printing it back onto the tape again. And with the pitch turned up. Reversing it again. Pitch down. and print to Ableton. So now this is the same process two times. So now that I have that recording, I'm going in there trying to find my loop, use some EQs to take off the lows and the highs, an SSL valve compressor, and then the other SSL compressor, this one's a little bit more gritty. And uh, finally, I use Lure Alto Boy from Sound Toys to drop the pitch and deform it down so it gets really distorted, or I should say, really um, lo fi. And for me, that's what I was looking for, kind of. That, that's my loop. So now I go back to the modular system and record a jam with that loop. Patch, improvise, mix it on the console. But this is just recording into Ableton all separate tracks. On the console, I have a uh, El Capistan delay and uh, a couple other pedals I'm using to kind of add effects. Now that I have a jam recorded, I'm just mixing it up. Or mixing it, I should say, more so. Making a structure. 
but for the most part it's just the uh, raw channels from the jam. got to a place where I like it so just finish up the mix and uh, master it and this is the final uh, version of what I started with the field kit and field kit effects sample and this is just a general overview of how I kind of can make a track or can make an idea off different recordings <laughs> 